Hey guys, thought I'd just let you know here some quick status update about jailbreaking because it seems like we have a very, very, very good status update from the guy called Pod2G. And uh, isn't this Pod2G? I think that was the guy that was releasing his uh, jailbreak before Green Poison, Lime Rain, or something like that. Uh, but basically, he had released a new video on YouTube showing off the untethered iOS 5 jailbreak for the iPod Touch 3rd generation but the interesting thing is that you know he tweeted tweeted this out and then he said like that uh, he's gonna you know make it for uh, the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4s uh, now one thing that you should remember here is oh, okay I don't know what but the uh, untethered jailbreak obviously is a jailbreak where you will be, will be able to restart your phone without time to you know use you know like use a computer to start up like I'm having my touch uh, fourth generation uh, running on iOS 5 uh, it is a tethered jailbreak so every time I I, I don't have you know any power or if, if I forget to charge it or anything like that I need a computer uh, to you know re you know remake the exploit with red snow stuff like that but this is the good stuff because this exploit seems to be working fully and iPad 2 and iPhone 4s support yeah that's awesome and also you may wonder uh, is this going to be compatible with iOS 5.0.1? Well, I watched a video from I Cracked Your Eyes, and he basically said like that it's going to be that, so that's kind of awesome. But we know that Apple, uh, that this is like a user land exploit, I think. Uh, that basically means uh, that uh, Apple will be able to patch it in future version of iOS, and obviously they're going to do that. So don't update your iDevice and if you want to go ahead and update to 5.0.1 you should use iFate um, to go ahead and back up your SHSH blob so you can go ahead and downgrade to iOS 5.0 if let's say this jailbreak gets released and then it's only available for iOS 5.0. Or yeah, 5.0 users, not 5.0.1. Uh, but it seems like it's gonna be compatible with iOS 5.0.1, and that's kind of awesome. Uh, but if Apple release like let's say 5.1, please don't update because that may break you know this exploit, so you can't use it if you have an iPhone 4s or an iPad 2. Uh, but it's gonna be awesome, so I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you wanna go ahead and watch it. Uh, but yeah, that's sweet. See. You.